Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to reseal your favourite DVD or Blu-ray to keep it from getting damaged or to keep it for collector's reasons. <laughs> So yes, today I will show you how you can reseal your favourite Blu-ray to make it look like it's factory sealed and uh, you can keep it so your collection, you know, if you're, if you're a collector like a steelbook collector or Blu-ray collector, uh, you can keep them nice and sealed and protected. So the example I'm going to be using is one of my, one of my collection videos. If you haven't seen them already, you can check the link down below for videos on them. They are my Disney collection. I've collected all the still, um, all the still, or trying to collect all the still books, and I've got all the classics uh, O-rings, which are these ones here. I've got, for example, uh, which are, are sealed. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what a sealed copy looks like, and I'll show you how to actually reseal it again. So I will open this up. And it is just like a brand new and sealed copy. So we can get into it. Just like that. Brand new seal. And there it goes open. So say you want to reseal this and keep it um, for collection reasons, or you just want to keep it nice and uh, you know, fresh and sealed. I will show you that now. So, you will need a few things for this video. Uh, you'll need three things, uh, or four really, your DVD himself. Um, but the three things you'll need is, one is an impulse sealer, which will seal the top of the DVD and keep it, you know, keep it inside. The second one is a heat gun, which will shrink the shrink wrap down to the DVD and keep it nice and smooth and, you know, uh, in the name shrink wrap <laughs> and then the final thing is the shrink wrap itself now these do have to be PVC shrink wrap uh, I found out yeah they have to be PVC because uh, I think it's the material that it's made of actually the heat uh, is what shrinks the PVC um, so yeah those are the three things you will need so let's get into it grab your DVD that you want to seal Grab yourself a PVC shrink wrap cover. This is what they look like. So we'll show a closer look. They do have one seal at the top right here to put your DVD into, and the rest are all sealed. Now these are very uh, tight fit. They pretty much are the exact size for DVDs and Blu-rays. So just squeeze that in there. Like that, just push it to the bottom. As you can see, it does have this bit at the top, which is uh, the bit we need to seal with the impulse sealer. So we'll do that now. And the the impulse sealer is pretty much simple. It's just like a guillotine, and it runs heat on the top and on the bottom. And I'll be able to see that on the top and the bottom. Uh, and on the front, it does have a dial that you can set to the desired heat. Now I've just whacked it straight up to the top because it just seals it even quicker. And uh, you literally only need a couple, it takes a couple of seconds to do. So you just put it inside and push down. Now at the same time you want to like kind of pull away with the DVD so it obviously pulls it off. Uh, and you do get left um, a bit of, bit of plastic that you can just chuck away. And you don't need that. So now you should have a sealed um, DVD inside or Blu-ray it is sealed at the top there you can tell uh, now we need to shrink it to the size to make it look uh, like it is factory sealed now when it comes to the heat gun uh, depending how much you spend uh, it will depend on the what the wattage as well for the heat gun mine is about a thousand uh, thousand and something I'm not quite sure what uh, it does come with a high and low setting. I do always just use the low setting because it, the high is a bit too intense. Um, so yeah, I will show you now how to seal it. You, you 
you do want to be careful when doing this because uh, you can break the PVC um, covers or the, the shrink wrap if you apply too much heat and don't spread the heat around. Uh, it's quite, quite easy to do that. I have gone through quite a few by doing that. You've just got to be careful and keep spreading the heat around. And uh, yeah, it's, it is pretty much simple. So I will show you that now. Uh, I'm going to start by shrinking the top and the bottom and then I'll shrink the front and the back. So let's do it. Just give it a few seconds to warm up. So start at the top, turn it around, and then you want to make sure you keep it quite far away from the DVD itself. You don't want to apply it too close because it will uh, break a hole in the cover. Check that. Just check it's to your liking. And there you go. As you can see, this is a fully sealed uh, Blu ray ready to go on the shelf and keep in your collection. So, yeah, I do hope you enjoyed this video. I do hope you found it helpful. Uh, it literally just, just take a few minutes, obviously it took a bit longer just trying to explain it all. Uh, but if you get quite fast it, you can get like five done in a matter of like minutes. It's really simple if, you, if you've got a fast hand. Uh, you just want to be careful with the actual shrinking it part, shrinking it to the DVD because you can accidentally break uh, some of the covers. You just want to make sure that you buy quite a lot. These are really cheap online. I, I got these for about um, 11 pound each, I think, and they're a pack of 100. So uh, yeah, I, I got I got three of them, so I've got 300 all together. I have gone through one pack already, which is you know quite a lot. Uh, I've managed to reseal all my uh, my Disney covers, which are these ones. Uh, but yeah, the heat gun these vary as well, depending on how much uh, where you buy it. And the what the wattage as well. Uh, mine wasn't that expensive. I think it was like fifteen pound. I'm not too sure. Uh, and then this was uh, seventeen pound. Now these these are really cheap. You can get bigger ones, but there's no need for me at the moment to buy bigger ones because I'm only shrinking DVDs and Blu-rays. And this is a twelve-inch one, and these are less than twelve inch, so it fits in there perfectly. Uh, yeah, so everything's really nice and cheap and affordable. So if you want to give it a go, I do recommend to go out and buy these. I will try and put the link in the description where I've got these uh, all from. These are both from Amazon. So all three of these are from Amazon. So I'll see if I can leave the links in the description. Uh, so yeah, I do hope you enjoyed. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.